Let's begin at the documentation for the Unified Dashboards and Reporting for Infrastructure Management Solution. Scroll down to the Solution Steps section, look at item number 3, and click on Add CA Spectrum to be directed to the information covered in this video. To use the Unified Dashboards and Reporting for Infrastructure Management capabilities, you need to upgrade to CA Spectrum 10.2.1 and install the 10.02.01 PTF underscore 10.2.117 on top of it. To locate the required PTF installation file, I'll begin by clicking on Download Management. When the Download Management page opens, I'll enter part or all of the product name and click the product in the list that appears. Now I'll locate the relevant instance of the product and click it. When the available downloads list appears, I'll select the required release and service pack level. The required 10.02.01 PTF underscore 10.2.117 appears in the product components list as CA Spectrum 10.2.1 PTF for Unified Dashboards and Reporting. The release notes file is present at the top of the product component list. The PTF binaries for Windows, Linux, and Solaris are present on page 2 of the product component list. I've already downloaded and installed these, but let's take a look at the .history file on our Spectro server machine to confirm that the PTF has been installed. The .history file confirms that the required PTF was previously installed. We can now enable the integration between Jasper Report Server and Spectrum Report Manager. Let's switch to the CA Business Intelligence Server, also known as the CABI Server, and complete some steps on it. To begin, I'll launch the CA Spectrum one-click web console. When the one-click web console opens, I'll click the administration page. On the administration page, click the report manager tab. On the report manager tab, I'll click Jasper integration in the report manager admin tool list. Enabling the Jasper integration consists of two basic steps. The first is to install the integration components on the Jasper server. I'll start this process now by clicking the integration components link, which will cause them to be downloaded. The integration components jar file is now located in the downloads directory. If the Java path is already set, the jar file can be installed from that folder. Another option is to copy the jar file to the Java directory, java backslash bin, located in the CABI install folder. For this demonstration, I'll just install the jar file from the downloads folder. First, I'll change the directory to the downloads folder. Now I'll execute the command to load the integration components jar file. The integration components are loaded, so now I'll start the Jasper Tomcat server using the desktop shortcuts that were added when the CABI server was installed. The Jasper Tomcat server has been restarted, so now I'll return to the Jasper integration page on the one-click web console. To enable the integration between Jasper Report Server and Spectrum Report Manager, I'll enter the parameter values that Spectrum Server uses to communicate with the Jasper server. The integration was successfully enabled. I'll now open the Jasper Server user interface and verify that this is true. The integration should have created a Spectrum organization, added default users to the new organization, and loaded dashboards to the library. Let's first verify that the new organization was added. The Spectrum organization is present, so next let's verify that the default users were created. 
we can see that three default users were created in the Spectrum organization. The last step is to verify that the Spectrum dashboards were added to the library. The Spectrum dashboards are present, so this integration was successful. For more detailed information about how to integrate CA Spectrum with CABI Jasper Report Server, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.